the main event which in no sense for once on rampage it actually felt like the main event this yeah this match should this match was the main event and should have been the main event definitely Kanosuke Takeshita's back and make- we get to see Junakiyama I don't know anything about him but must uh, clearly a legend in, in Japan if they're making a big deal out of him and Eddie Kingston says this is a dream match for him oh they drove that point home all night yeah they did mention it from the start of the show until the match started this is a dream match for eddie and then during the whole match it was eddie wants to impress june (laughs) wants to start off the match with him and uh takesh is like nope not happening Mm -hmm. um He's like, I just got back, and I am here to wrestle, sir. (laughs) They talked about how it was like a daddy issue with uh, Eddie, saying like, he just, after everything he did, he would look over at June and be like, are you happy now? Do I impress you? Do I make you proud? He said, you like that daddy? (laughs) Did I do good? It was weird. They talked about how at one point they were like, Ortiz has been doing a lot of this match on his own or whatever. I was like, are you crazy? I was like, the whole story of this match was the fact that Eddie could never get in the ring at the same time as Akiyama. Akiyama, or um, sorry, Takeshita was doing like everything on his own for the most part. <laughs> because Takeshita's back, baby, and um, I'm happy. Takeshita being back should have been my hidden knife. <laughs> Hold on, I haven't used it. You so guys I'll don't just... know how you, yeah, you guys don't know how much I love Takeshita. <laughs> I'm happy he's back. So happy he's back. That means we are going to get some very high quality matches in the near future. And if he's gonna be back around for a while, and possibly my favorite brain buster. And wrestling. Imagine if he's going to be and around for a while. Definitely the best German suplex. And he gets to have like a realist, uh, like an actual story, as opposed to his story just being, "I'm a great wrestler. Let's wrestle." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what his story is in AEW. Everybody's just like, "I'm. I've heard this guy is really good, so I want him to help me look good." And elevate me. <laughs> I mean, it got him to have some good matches with some. He did high quality names in AEW. He lost them. I'll say he lost them all, but he had some really good matches. Let's give him some wins now. He's back. <laughs> Cash is back, baby. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I don't know who he beat, but remember he lost on Battle of Belts to Claudio, and then mm-hmm. like on Re- on Dynamite the next week he had like his going away match, and they actually let him win. It was like yay, but you could tell he was sad that he was leaving for a bit. Yeah. Um... It was someone decent, but not major. I can't remember. Yeah. That's gonna, that's gonna kill me. Guess what? He had another win tonight, though. Yes, he did. Dude, that uh, that last exploder Akiyama did on Ortiz looked good. I was torn because it felt like you didn't see like a like it's an explorer suplex, and it feels like the actual. Like lifting part, the pop wasn't super explosive, but he like the way he landed it low. looked like yeah, more like a buster. Yeah, he and kept him low to the ground know, right I on the net. Big fan of brain busters. 
So yeah, it was. I don't know. Yeah, it was cool. It looked. It looked. It was like an exploder brain buster almost and, and i thought that was dope that one looked good then un, just japanese wrestlers are so just clean in the ring like that ddt eddie got on Takeshita, it looked so nasty Aki, I'm gonna hit Ortiz with that hell of a pile driver that I was actually worried that about. Was, yeah, that was dope too. You, when you can see the top of their head below the legs, that's probably not a good sign when it comes to pile drivers. Yeah, especially when they don't like really fall back, like how you see them try to protect by doing that. So I was mm -hmm. just watching and trying to make. I'm like, this, this is one of those next spots. I'm gonna be like, are you okay? Like, show me you can move before I, I pay attention to anything <laughs> I, else. I know. That's always my first thing. Is I'm like, that looked cool, but please move. Please move. Like, don't be paralyzed or something. Like, those released mm. Germans and stuff, when you see the people essentially roll right on the top of their head, I'm like, come on, <laughs> be okay. That's why I like to catch it as German suplexes so much because it looks like somebody just. Mm, it's done. It's over. The... I would not want to take one of those. Kenny's Snapdragon looks vicious. When I watch it, I realize why he's able to do it so safely, even though it looks vicious. Because he actually mm -hmm. snaps them back to land like on the shoulder blades and then it just has so much speed they roll over after. Yeah. He does it more like a suplex where he goes over this way as opposed to over the head to the... But... Akiyama got that knee to the back of the head and the exploder suplex. I realized it's because he almost holds on to him kind of like how a fisherman suplex is as opposed to a toss. So he can set like whipping motion and since they're landing like high on the shoulders and the neck I'm like it looks more devastating yeah it just doesn't have the same explosive factor because you're not trying to throw them like eddie would yeah i guess yeah he's not i don't know i just it, it's the landing that does it for me i guess I think that's what I liked. Is it's the landing that does it for me because I'm like, oh, oh, be okay. Honestly, All it's, right, you're okay. It's more <laughs> of a wrestling move. It's like there, he keeps more control, so he mm -hmm. holds on to you. You land in a like a position that looks more devastating, and you notice how quickly he was able to roll over right into the pin with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a one. A1 this match, man. They let the legend in the show AEW Rampage with this hand held high. Yeah. Yeah. Cash <laughs> this back. Uh, Jun Akiyama is old as dirt, but um, he looks good in the ring still. I wish I had seen him in his prime. 